Now, you're probably wondering what this mega tower is doing here. Because that shouldn't be there. We don't have mega towers in a in a Omega cow. Um, the reason that's there is because I want to talk to you about um, worker shortages. Okay, and like right now, um, if I take this out, which I'm going to do actually, because I'm done with that. I was just trying to I was trying to keep it everything stable while I was messing around with uh, with the, with the industrial. Um, but I've got that old situation where the um, the industrial is complaining that it doesn't have enough workers, but the residential. Let's take a let's take a little look. The residential is complaining that they couldn't find work, right? And it's like, you know, you try and fix one problem, and it makes the other problem worse. Okay. Now, now that I've taken the taxes down to zero. Okay, hopefully these should start to get a bit happier. Hopefully these buildings will, uh, will actually repopulate. Uh, and then what we should see is um, that we'll, we'll start to get worker shortage over here. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just let this settle down. Uh, I may have to I may have to knock some of these buildings down to get them to to repopulate but hopefully we'll get back to a situation where these guys are all happy because they're working but oh see here we go we're starting to get the worker shortages here look all these worker shortages now what I want to show you first is I'm using a mod yes stop the presses I'm actually using a mod it's the first mod that I've actually used um, and it's the uh, it's the extended worker mod that um, uh, one of the Maxis devs, Maxis Guillaume, and like big ups to Maxis Guillaume. He's done a couple of mods which are, are they're both awesome, but this one in particular, I cannot recommend enough for you guys get this mod. And I'll actually do um, I'll actually do a separate tip on um, getting the mod and installing it. Um, but let's let's take a look at um, at these, and I'll show you. This is what the mod does. It gives you this extra information here, so it tells you how many of each wealth class are working in uh, in a particular building and how many can work there. So this factory, for example, can take uh, up to forty uh, low wealth, twenty medium wealth, and six high wealth. Okay, now that doesn't mean it needs that many. Okay, it's just that's the maximum that it can take. Now, one of these factories needs 25 workers in order for it to work. And if we look at this one over here, this one's got exactly 25 workers, and that's working. And this one has got 20 and 5 medium wealth. Okay. Now what you'll find is that a lot of these buildings that are complaining will have like just less than the 25 that you need. Now I've actually uh, been getting some uh, some medium wealth going over here in the utility city, uh, and th that is often a good way to solve your. Uh, and your your worker problem because what you'll find is you'll look at these buildings and see that all the problems have gone away at the moment um, you'll look at these buildings and you'll see that they've got like 24 uh, low wealth workers it only takes one extra medium wealth and suddenly the place is working Okay, and sometimes I don't know why this is, but it, it, this has always been the in, been the way. Um, like if, when, when you're doing like low density, low density commercial, they need three workers, and what you'll find, like if you're doing a segregated city, that you'll have loads and loads of shops with two workers each, and they just can't get that third worker. But you put in some medium wealth, and like they get one medium wealth worker, and suddenly they got three workers, and everything starts working. And it's um, it's kind of the same thing here. So as you can see, we, we, we've got some got some problem buildings again, right? 
and that well that's got virtually none 18 11 oh, yeah, always the way isn't it when you when you're actually looking for a good example you can't find one that's got like, no workers at all um, but this is kind of messed up but I've got a bunch of abandoned buildings over here so um, I'm, let me sort this out and then we'll come back and we'll see if we've um, we've solved this problem okay so I've settled things down a little bit uh, and these guys are no longer complaining but we are still getting some uh, some lack of workers over in the factories but it's it's intermittent it comes and goes you'll you'll get a few factories that have worker problems and then it'll disappear um, so what we're gonna do now let, let's have a quick look we are getting we're getting like five or six hundred um, medium wealth commuting in from over here now one thing like if you're gonna start encouraging commuters um, whatever you do don't put in uh, like regional buses or trains because it you'll get um, tourists and um, they are a bit of a nightmare because what happens is like getting here fine no problem uh, but they'll go to your commercial and then they'll get bored and they'll say oh leave in the city and you'll get huge uh, traffic jams of um, low wealth tourists driving out of the city why they don't take the regional transport out I don't know but look okay look we've got we've got some of these factories now complaining about workers so what we're gonna do um, this kind of combines with some backstory so so this is quite good I like this um, what we're gonna do we're gonna put in some Academy facilities now we're gonna put some Academy in over in the utilities city that's going to be our, our little sort of academy enclave if you like and then we're going to use some of the academy stuff over in this city now um, I'm going to put in maglev uh, maglev is very very cool it's it's a very very nice transport system um, and it kind of fits with the whole vibe I think and um, and we'll see if we can't get like maglevs like you know tracks flying across here uh, onto like in between these would be really cool and then we'll just have maglevs going around and it should encourage the workers to get around a bit more and hopefully it will solve this problem okay so um, so that's that we're also going to put in the ground scrubbers so um, I'm gonna have to make uh, space as I've done with this one so we've got a little space there for the ground scrubber I'm gonna have to do that with these other factories now um, I kind of probably should have mentioned this before before you start optimizing your industry make sure that you've got your factories spaced out um, because the ground scrubbers are going to go in between the factories so you want them evenly spaced so that your ground scrubbers because the ground scrubber is going to have an area of effect like, you know, kind of like that, that kind of circle there. So, if, if you have a factory like on the second row, and then the same on this, you have a factory on the second row. And then I've gone for um, one, two, three rows in, and one, two, three, four rows in. Which is near yeah, kind of evenish. Um... So what I need to do, I've, I've got a space there, I've done that one. So I've got a space there, space there. Uh, need to get a space on, uh, yeah, this one. So I'll need to move that robotics factory over. Um, so we'll put the ground scrubbers in and see if we can, cut, we can clean this up a bit. Now the idea is that if we can get this area uh, like decently clean, then and I'm, I'm going to slow this down because um, I don't want these factories to start getting too upset about this uh, work. But I mean, look at that. That's kind of ridiculous. Now you, you're probably saying, "Well, hang on, why wasn't this doing this before?" And it's an age thing. I've been running this for a while, as you can see. We're up to like 
we're closing in on a billion. This is what year thirteen. The longer the city goes on, um, like the more problems you seem to have with various things. Um, education. I'll talk about education, and I found a solution to education. The workers is kind of just. I. I I have some theories about what's going on, but. I'm not concrete enough to, to like go out on a limb and say, this is what's causing it. But, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it's definitely a bug because the, the city hasn't really changed. And for the first, like, eight, nine years, perfect, no problems, nothing. And then suddenly, now, we're getting this ridiculous worker problem. So we'll put some maglev in and we'll see if we can uh, we can resolve the problem that way. Um, as I said, we've got we've got some medium wealth over here. Uh, I'll probably increase that a little bit. I've got some high density, but we'll probably let that grow to uh, to full, uh, and that'll get a few more of those guys commuting in. And uh, I, you know, hopefully, we can solve the problem. Um, but there's a few more things. Um, garbage. Now, this was a good tip. I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember who gave me the tip. But when you put your garbage in, right? Uh, first of all, placement. It's a good idea to put it down here. I had the thing up there, which actually is a really bad place to put it. Down here, much better. Um, put two burners on each side. Now, now to get the right placement, uh, you want to come in like ten snap points uh, and place the garbage dump, and then you'll be able to get. Um, two burners on that side and then you put the other two burners on that side and then you can get all of your trucks in I've actually only placed um, seven because yeah, to be honest the restriction seven cope with this city quite happily uh, and while we're on the subject of garbage I'm going to do uh, I was going to do this later but I'll do this now okay I've had a lot of people saying about oh you know, um, you know I've had to put in extra garbage dump and this that and the other you don't need to. Look, you see this is flashing red, okay? I think a lot of people see this and they go, oh, you know, th that's, a, that's a problem. I've, I need to have more garbage. When you get that, right, what it means is that the garbage dump is, is, is full, okay? Um, when that happens, go to your garbage map, right? Now, what you're looking for is... Are you getting any red stacks? Okay. If you're not getting any red stacks, then you haven't got a problem. Okay. Uh, just let it carry on. What's happening is the, the the trucks are bringing the garbage back. They're filling up the garbage dump, and then you know, like overnight, it it starts to process it and get it down. And then the garbage trucks go out, collect loads of garbage, bring it back, and it's full again. Okay, but if you're not seeing any red stacks, right, then it's coping with uh, with the amount of garbage, like over a 24-hour period. Will you get periods where this goes red and says it's full? Yes, but you don't need any more garbage. This has been running for 13 years. Okay, just one full garbage dump copes with this fine now if you start putting in um, if like if you go high density or you change it dramatically um, then yeah you may need to, to do something um, but uh, garbage you shouldn't need to do it use the map look for the red stacks if you've got no red stacks you're cool no worries okay um, right let's uh, let's do some academy stuff so let's jump over to the utility city Okay, so here's the utility city. And by the way, if you, if you're saying, well, hang on, this is this is different from um, from how it was before. I've gone back to the original uh, Badlands region and the original city. Um, so it's it's the most basic one. So no university, no university research, anything like that. Um, okay, so we've got these nasty smoky uh, power stations. Uh, I'd like to get rid of those and put in a fusion reactor. So um, going to want to do the research for that. So what I'm going to do is is kick off by just slapping in um, an academy 
and um, I'll put in a mega tower as well um, to give us. And I'll I'll put in like, um, in fact, I'll do. I'll just do it. It's the easiest. Um, I'm gonna put in. Let's see. I'm gonna put in um, one medium. Actually, well, you know what? We've got loads of medium. So I'm just going to get rid of that. I'm just going to put in um, one high wealth level. Just so that we've got plenty of people for the academy. Um, so that it, it researches uh, at a decent speed. So let's pop one of these on there. And while that's building, uh, we need five high wealth buildings. So let's pop in some parks. That'll do. Um, to be honest, once we've got the five buildings, um, we can just get rid of those, to be honest. Because we don't really need them. Okay, so there we go. There's our unlock. Right, I'm just going to put this like directly opposite, so they can just walk straight out of there, across the road, into the academy. Now, there's going to be a fair old amount of research, and we've kind of done this before. Um, I'm going to keep this as Hawk's View, because I think that's kind of a cool name. Um, how are we doing? Yeah, we're getting the people in there. That's good. Yeah, I'll probably, yeah, yeah I'm going to leave those buildings. What the hell? Why not? Have a few more, a few more rich people around. Never hurts. Um, so, we, we, we've kind of already done this, so... I'm just going to research the things that I need, and uh, when I've got them, we'll come back to it. 